Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, let's see how to capture video in your Ionic 2 application and then play it back in the same application. Uh, this is pretty much a simple process, but this was requested a lot by our readers and so I decided to do this video today. Uh, I'll try to make it as short as possible and uh, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I have done here is I have just created an uh, Ionic 2 application and opened it up in my VS Code editor as usual. Now I'll increase the font size so that you guys could see it better even if you view it on a mobile device. So workspace settings. Okay, now that the font size is increased, uh, let's open up. Okay, now what we are, the, the thing we are trying to achieve here is capturing a video and playing it back in our application, right? Let's break it up into two. We'll just uh, do capturing video first and then we'll uh, move on to the next process. So to capture video, we are going to use a plugin called Media Capture Plugin. Okay, it's in Ionic Native, you might have seen this. Uh, let me just see this one. This is the media capture component available in Ionic 2, uh, Ionic Native, and we are going to make use of this. First of all, let's go ahead and install this. So, uh, the command to install that is Ionic plugin add Cordova media capture, right? Okay, now this is installed. Let's move on. Uh, let me just open up the code back and uh, in app.module.ts, I need to add it as a provider, right? So, import, sorry, import uh, from Ionic Native. Capture and then in the providers, I'll add it as a provider. Media capture. Okay, and uh, coming back to our code, we'll just get into pages. We just have one home page because I have created a project using blank template. So I'll go into home.html and uh, remove all the stuff that's there by default. And uh, inside, I'll simply have a button. button ion button okay and click it will simply invoke a function called uh, uh, sorry start recording and uh, uh, simply start okay uh, a simple piece of code to create a button that's all and inside this i'll first of all before i forget the name of the function that i used start recording right start recording uh, and I'll have okay now uh, I'll import uh, media capture from Ionic Ionic uh, native okay and uh, here I'll just use it like here I'll just use it uh, once again guys, my mic is here, so if I look into this direction or if I lean towards this direction, uh, it's just a force of habit, okay. Uh, okay, so start recording and uh, inside this media capture, media capture dot capture video and uh, video data, okay. What I'll do is uh, this will automatically get saved to our uh, storage. So I need not do anything here just for my confirmation. Maybe I'll just give alert JSON dot stringify video data. Okay, nothing more. So we have just created a function to capture. So we have just created a function to capture. Uh, video in our application and it's as simple as that that's it now what you need to do is you need to take the capture video from the local storage and that not local phone storage and uh, 
show it in your application that's all okay so to do that we are going to make use of another plugin called camera so uh, this we have already seen in the previous video but it was kind of a old video uh, this one the ionic native plugin called camera.ts this component is available in ionic native which we are going to make use of to playback our recorded video and uh, if you notice we need to set two uh, two options that is the source type and media type so source type will be the source type will be like uh, how do i say where we are going to choose our image from for example if you give it as one it will be uh, it will denote the camera if you give it as two it will denote the saved photo album i'm going to use an android device so i'm going to give two okay so uh, and uh, and the media type is nothing but uh, whether it's a video or pictures or uh, all the third one is all the above so uh, we are going to set both of these and we are going to set this media type because we need only the videos right otherwise it will grab all the media so let me just go ahead and uh, select video okay first i'll install this What's the plugin add cordo plugin camera right? Uh, Ionic. Okay, it's getting installed. Meanwhile, I'll get in here and add camera as a provider as well. Okay, and go back to home.html. Maybe add another button, button, ion, button, click, select, video, uh, select, and I'll give close here. And in order to play back our video in our application, I'll use a video tag. Video hash my hash my video is to reference this video element in my home.ts file uh, and I'll close this okay I'll get into home.ts component I'll add view child media capture and uh, here I'll give it as camera and inside this select video I'll simply use uh, first, I'll give a reference for uh, uh, my view child. My video element we need to reference here, right? So, at view child, this is a decorator at view child. Uh, and uh, here I'll give my video. Uh, my video. This will be. I'll once again use my video. And uh, this will be any. Okay. So, uh, now that we have a reference for this, we can simply use it like this. Since uh, this dot video equal to uh native element this dot my video dot uh, element so native element okay uh then why should we declare it oops we can simply use it as a local variable right and camera dot uh, no, we need options right source type and media type so where options go to let this be an object source type this will be uh, what was it two right source type is uh, two yeah saved photo album and uh, media type this will be media type will be uh, video one okay one and then as usual camera dot get picture uh, op sorry options options dot then uh, uh, then uh, I'll get a video right give it data let me just give it as data we need to play this in sorry what happened oh I gave a space here we'll make use of that video element uh, in order to play our video so video dot source equal to data since this will be a file URI, it's pretty much easier and it will we can directly give it a source 
and then we'll use video dot play so that it automatically plays the video uh, when it gets loaded so that's it guys this is how you take your uh, this is how you take your recorded video and play it back in your application now let's see if this app actually works whatever we have written so far actually runs fine so for that uh, i need to disconnect my mouse i just have three usb ports in my laptop uh, and i don't have a usb hub either so i need to disconnect my mouse and then connect my mobile guys so just give me a minute here or i'll do this thing there you go so uh now that i have my mobile ready let me just run this and see whether this runs fine whether this goes fine so oh, no mouse i'll give ionic platform platform add android and then i'll give ionic run android okay our app is now installed guys as you can see here so let me just first click on start and our camera is now opened it's recording video i guess as you can see this is my setup as of now so i'll just click on record okay Now I have footage of about seven seconds. I'll click on stop. And this check mark. So it's saved, right? It's now back. I mean, we have just uh, the screen of our application is now back. So let me just click on select now. And it shows all the recent video files in my uh, storage system, phone storage, right? I'll choose the choose the video which we just shot. As you can see, the whole video is being played. As you can see, the whole video is being played, right? But we are not able to see the video because uh, the size is the size of the video element is rather large, and uh, our app doesn't know how to accommodate the entire video, right? So what shall we? What we'll do is we'll make use of the attributes of the video tag, the default HTML5 video tag, and then try to uh, reduce the width and height of our uh, uh, this video element. Okay. So in order to do that, let me first. Oh, I forget that I don't have control of this mouse, guys. So let me first. Uh, get in here. Home dot HTML. This video, I'll give my uh, height as I am three hundred width as three hundred. And if you have used this video tag before, you would know that there is another thing called controls, which we can add with the tag, so that we can have a play, pause, control, and a full screen control as well. You will sure see that now. Let me just uh, run the app now, and we'll see what happens. Okay, now our app is installed. Okay, now you can see that the size of the video element is within our application, within the phone screen. Let's click on select. Select our video that we just shot. You can see that, right? Our video, which we just shot, is getting played in the uh, application. This is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, you you might wonder this is a pretty much simple process, right? But lot of guys are requesting me, asking me to do a video on this, and then uh, they said that they have have been trying for trying to do this for a long time and couldn't get it to work and all that stuff. That's why I decided to do it today. So I hope this helped you in some way, guys. Uh, if you found this helpful, kindly share it with someone else and help them too. And uh, uh, this is my video setup, guys. The light is too bright and my screen is a bit dark, right? 
that's why uh, I, I sometimes occasionally squint my eyes or move my eyeballs this side or this side that's too just you know anyway if you found this video if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button and uh, kindly subscribe to my channel to watch more cool stuff like this we'll talk to you guys in my next video bye oh not the mouse once again mouse is not